Pat Solby Scoom. I am here in the, sa the side sacristy for Our Lady of the Atonement. So the altar is just up there. And then coming over to the side, we have the side sacristy. And so over here, we have what's called a creates table. So this is not an actual table. We used to have a like a table shelf on one side of the altar. But now we've got uh, this setup. So over here, the wine and the water, these are in what's called cruets. And then this is the lavabo bowl as well as the lavabo towel and then the, um, the container to pour the water. And then down here we have what's called a patin. So the patin goes with the intinctorium. I'll show you what those are in a second. But essentially it lays flat under the chin of the communicant. So when receiving communion, uh, no part of the precious body or blood will fall on the floor and be discarded like that. So these are the, the patins here again. Coming over to the side cabinet, we have the sink, also known as the piscina. And this allows for us to clean the vessels while at the same time making sure that any remnants of the precious body or blood uh, go directly to the earth and are not like filtered into the sewer system or stuff like that. Over on the side, we have some towel racks to dry the purificator that we use for the chalice. We have some convenient wine away spray, which works really well to get out wine spray, uh, wine stains. And then, of course, we have our communion wine here to fill up the crew with that. Up at the top shelf, we have all of our vessels. So this, again, is what's known as an intinctorium. So the way the intinctorium works is it's kind of set up like a ciborium, only it's got this handle. And then you take one of these small cups and it sits right in the middle which now allows for the priest to take the host from here, dip it into the precious blood, and then give it to the communicant, of course, with that patin being under their chin. And this is really convenient because the priest can just hold it like this, and then just using his liturgical canonical digits that uh, consecrated the host, he can then use his thumb and index finger to grab the host dip and then to communicate. And then up here, we've also got our bigger ciborium. So this will hold, right? No, I, no. Okay, so this is the chalice. I believe we use this as a ciborium to store all the extra hosts in the tabernacle. And then over here, this is our little workstation. So we'll hang the thurible up there. And then in this cabinet, we store our coals, incense, uh, some matches, just to make sure that the coals in the thurible are burning nicely and then if we need to restock on incense we have some in here as well as the matches to light any coals we might need to or to light the torches that we use for mass that might go out because of the wind and then here's the view from the side sacristy of the church now let me get a light yes so it, it works really great because you can do the working part of the mass all while out of sight of the community so I really enjoy that because it allows for them to focus more on the mass instead of just like watching everyone do their duties or kind of like the, the behind the scenes of keeping the mass running smoothly. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, pray for us.